Yay, looks like we're live. So, looks like we have a one person viewing. Hello, whoever is there. Thanks for joining. We'll be starting up in a few minutes. I'll give a couple minutes for anybody who wants to trickle in, to trickle in. But today, no idea what to expect from this game. Ouija sleepover. I feel like I always pronounce that word wrong. But apparently Ouija boards, trans characters, queer characters, what's not to love? Multiple endings too, probably won't play through all of it, but we'll see. I think it's only like an hour, maybe two hours long. But, you know, feel free to say hi in the chat. All right, let me make sure I got all this set up. Go ahead and get started, and hopefully a few more people will trickle in as we get going. Alrighty. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this sound going. Alright, here we go. Hello everyone who's jumping in, we're just starting. So today we have, well, it looks like we have a disclaimer. It contains some imagery, may find disturbing, flashing image, blood, gore, death, and murder. Yay! Typical horror stream. Those below the age of 16 are strongly advised from playing and or viewing of this game. So be warned if you're below the age of 16. Looks like we got a pretty simple game in our hands. Enter, move, run. Hmm, that means there's probably gonna be monsters. And interact with the creepy teddy bears to save. How exciting. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Michael. How are y'all doing? Probably have a few more people trickle in as we play. This looks like. We got Aiden here. What's up? Did you just wake up? You sound drowsy. No shit. Off to a great start here. So what's so important that you couldn't have texted me? Left the stove on? Yeah, right. What's wrong, Grumpy? Day cut canceled. Story of my life. Huh. No. So you better not suddenly get homesick. Yeah, because my ace S totally wants to be anywhere near you two tonight. Oh, cute. Ace representation. I love that. Also, don't get cocky with me, mister. If it wasn't for me, you'd be so late. Huh? Check the time, doofus. Does anybody say doofus anymore? Shit. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't just call to remind my stupid flatmate of his date. So, going back to that stove. So you did leave the stove on. The stove won. Ah oh man, unlike you, I cook responsibly. I might have forgotten to put out my scented candle, though. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Now hurry up with whatever you still need to do. Your boyfriend's priority on his way. He's not my boyfriend yet. Ooh, intrigue. Thanks, by the way, for waking me up. Just spare me the gushing when I get back. Okay, whatever. See you later, loser. Okay, let's get started. Oh, this looks cute. <laughs> Tell Dan to come over later, but Layla is right, he's definitely on the tram already. I'll just have to prepare what I still can. But first, I'll check on Layla's candle. Cool. Ugh. Oh. It's like my living room in many ways. You got lots of video games, a Nintendo Switch, and a giant TV. And stuffed animals. Can you interact with any of this stuff? Nope. Yay, trans. Is that, uh, shots? Testosterone shots, maybe? Okay, 
creepy bear says I can save. And we got a pushing cat. How cute. Alright, where are we going? Okay. I need to check on Leo's candle first. Well, I don't know where their candle is. Apparently in here. Oh, this doesn't look ominous. Of course it's not lit. Well, it's probably expensive, so better safe than sorry, I suppose. No time to be looking at unlit candles. I need to prepare. What are we preparing here? Right, snacks. No movie night without snacks. Doing a movie night with candles and Ouija and pentagrams too. Where's the kitchen? Looks like a kitchen door. Based on nothing. <laughs> I really need to take out that trash. The floor is pretty dirty too. I did want to clean it, but I guess that plan's falling flat. Sounds like every time I have anybody over. Pre-COVID days. I'll keep Dan out of the kitchen. It's a big apartment. Trash comes first. Okay. Do we just throw it out the window? Okay. Can I pick up this yet? Okay. Hmm. I guess I just put the trash in my pocket. Is that how that works? That's where the trash goes. Mm -hmm. If I were trash, where would I go? Hey Paige, hey inactive imaginations, how are y'all doing? Thanks for joining. This game is a stair simulator. The only thing. Huh. Oh. That's not a board game, you fool. No, I've seen this before. It's <laughs> the Luigi board. <laughs> Who threw this away? Superstitious much? I just thought of something fun, but I don't know how he'd react. Maybe this is a bad idea. Um, obviously, this game's called We Just Sleepover, so we're gonna take the board. I mean, never seen a horror movie where taking a Ouija board out of the trash ever goes wrong, so this should be good. This my partner? Yep. Er, clearly, I don't know where I'm going. Wait. Clearly, my uh, memory is really bad as to which apartment is my own. <laughs> I'm digging the music, it's very relaxing. Uh, where am I going? Setting up the Ouija board, or am I getting snacks? What's going on here? This looks like a Ouija place to put a Ouija board. Maybe I'm getting snacks. Maybe I should pay attention to what he's actually saying. Okay. Alright, just get a bowl. Oh, we can dump the fruit on the floor. Or maybe not? Okay. Well. So no fruit? Okay, we're not being healthy for movie night. Um, are we doing movie night in here? Oh, looks like we are. Snacks done. Hmm, what else to prepare? Well, guess that answers that. So, who do we have here? Dan? Aw, cute. Good evening. Glad you can make it. That would be my line. A little birdie told me you almost overslept. That <laughs> little snitch. Don't worry, I also like that carefree side of you. 
Well, I've got loads more where that came from. As long as you still care for some things, like moving this conversation somewhere else. Alright, follow me. To the bedroom. So this is your room. Alright, this is the first time you've been here, isn't it? Well, the last time we went out in your apartment, you would not let me in. Aww. The awkward stages of an early relationship. No, I guess I think I skipped a line of dialogue there. Okay. No survivors. So is everyone alive this time? We had a few casualties, but we mostly made it. <laughs> At least the casualties were in vain. Jokes aside, it's still a bit of a mess, but I hope you feel comfortable. Oh, no, it's perfect. I really envy your room. I barely have any space in my dorm. I remember the days of living in a dorm. You should see Layla's room, then. It's giant. This is such a nice apartment. How can you guys afford rent, especially in the middle of the city? Actually quite cheap. That doesn't sound suspicious. The guy seemed really desperate for tenants, said he'd give me a good price if I signed the contract immediately. Hmm. Sounds very sketchy, aren't you worried? Nah, not really. Worst case, last tenant jumped out of the window or something. <laughs> as long as the rent is cheap, I don't care. Might have something to do with that Ouija board you found. If I'm not mistaken, we can start movie night without picking a movie. Oh, we can't. Yeah, that would make more sense. So let's get to that. Sure. Alright, um, I guess we're picking a movie. Is this where we go? Mm, are these movies? Those look like video games. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of chips. Can we even eat all that? Oh, those are pepper flavored? Okay. Hi, sad man. Thanks for joining. I'm glad my latest video is helpful for you. What am I doing? Are these movies? Witching gear? Okay. Are these movies? Okay. What am I doing here? TV? Oh. I had to stand in the middle of the TV, not the side of the TV, apparently. Oh, there's this new horror movie I've been itching to see. Oh, I love horror. Though, why does every relationship have somebody who loves horror and somebody who hates horror? <laughs> you can cling on to me if you're scared. I'll comfort you. Aw, adorable. So you're fine with my pick? We can watch anything else if you really don't like it. It's okay, sometimes I have to challenge myself a bit. Alright. Hey Sierra, thanks for joining. Love interest. I'll go after the noise while you hide here. <laughs> Characters don't have names. No, I'm scared. What if something happens to you? Don't worry, babe. I'll be right back, I promise. Why in the world would they split up? I know, right? That dude's so gonna die. You're really enjoying yourself, huh? He's got such a sly grin on his face. Are you scared? As long as you're here with me, I'm fine. Oh. What a scream. Let's go check. How is this guy still not dead? I want to know what this movie is. It sounds terrible. That ending was so stupid that they seriously have to go, it was all a dream route. So cliche. He spelled cliche wrong. Yeah, that was a dumb plot twist. I guess the movie wasn't amazing, but that's fine, isn't it? After all, I came here for you and not the movie. So I still had a good time. Aw, excuse me while I throw up from cuteness. Yeah. Um, actually, I've been meaning to ask you something. Well, do you, I mean, are we? <laughs> Is that a heartbeat noise in the background? Somebody nervous? Ah, 
I don't know how to ask this. Okay, take your time. All right, I picked this up earlier. Let's use it. Is that really what you wanted to say? Ooh, intense music. Pretty cool, huh? Found it in the trash. What? Are you crazy? Whoa, chill. Don't tell me you actually believe in this stuff, Mr. Science Major. <laughs> I just think there are some forces that should not be messed with. So if this is, you know, an actual horror movie, Aiden would totally die, and Dan would live. If Layla was here, I'm sure you'd get an earful of what a terrible idea this is. <laughs> you scared the maybe ghost hunting this apartment will come for us? Frankly, somewhat. Isn't the research in you just the tiniest bit curious? Let's put it this way. Your hypothesis is that this board will attract spirits. Mine is that it doesn't. Now the logical thing to execute an experiment and figure out whose hypothesis is correct. Wouldn't you agree? Sounds like a great idea. That's not fair. Using my love for experiments against me. So. Fine. But I still think this is a bad idea. Alright, here we go. Do we have to get creepy candle for this too? Or do we just play? Ooh. Are we really doing this? You bet. How else am I ever going to find if someone died in this apartment? Oh, I don't know about y'all, but I don't know if I'd really want to find out if somebody died in the place that I'm living. I like creepy stuff, but I don't know if I'd want to live where someone died. The internet, your landlord, literally any other way. What would be the fun in that? Now put your hand on the plan chat. Fine, but do you even know how to start these? Yep, you're gonna get cursed. Spirit, spirit, are you there? Okay, what am I doing? Surprise, surprise, nothing. Okay, your hypothesis was correct, let's stop. All right, y'all, game over, sorry. Jeez, why are you so scared? Nothing is happening. Is there a spirit in this room? If so, please make yourself known. Famous last words. Ooh. Creepy. <laughs> okay, very funny, Dan. Ooh, got a change of music. I'm not the one moving it. What? Come on, man. No need to keep pretending. I like the little heartbeat in the background. I swear, I'm not doing anything. Huh? So now Aiden's the one who's scared. Should I keep asking stuff? I don't know. Hmm. Anybody have any thoughts? Should we ask for name, gender, or mood? I imagine we're probably gonna ask for all. This, uh, Michael, this is on PC. Uh, it's just some indie game I got off of itch.io. I think it was made with RPG Maker. Any votes? Hmm. Mood. Okay. So you're a spirit, huh? <laughs> How's that been going? Dreadful. B. A. Bad. Okay, I wasn't far off. Oh, it, it must be tough. <laughs> okay, thank you for your honesty. So, um, hmm. Any votes for the next question? Are you a former tenant? Are you lonely? Or are you mad at me? Hmm. And I have to remember there's a delay in the stream, so... <laughs> I'll just sit here while I wait for y'all. Ask for a PS5. I wish I could do that. <laughs> spirit, spirit, bring me a PS5. Are you a former tenant? Hmm. Leaning towards a... Oh. Ooh, we got a two for mad at me. Hello, Hazelpudge. So, gonna go with that. Go with the majority. Sorry about earlier, you're not mad at me, are you? Oh, good. I think we should really end this session. Wait, 
There is one more thing I need to know. <laughs> is Dan a wuss? Wow. Ghost answered quickly on that one. I really hate you right now. <laughs> oh man, you should have seen your face. Priceless. I'm going home. Nah, come on. You have to admit that that was at least a little bit funny. Maybe a little. Aww. My gay heart is warming. Alright, fine. I'll stay. <laughs> but I'll get you back for this. Can't wait. Well then, you put that thing away while I go use the loo. Well, if anybody knows about Ouija boards, they didn't properly say goodbye, which is not a good thing. Because you nearly pissed your pants. Ugh. Alright, I've had my fun. Time to put you away. Don't really have use for you now. Nah, on top of superstitious, she's also a queen freak. She'll hate me by hand for a Ouija board I found. Oh, we know how this is gonna go. Let's talk to the bear. The bear saves. Should let Dan know in case he's done. Yeah, that's... Apparently you're more considerate than I would be. Nah, take your time. Just letting you know I'm putting the spirit board back where it belongs. Back where it belongs? The trash. That's mean. I wasn't the one who put it there in the first place. To be frank, I thought you were joking when you told me that's where you found it. In that case, you should put it back. Don't tell me you still believe in this crap. I don't believe in it. There, there are just some things you never know. Yeah. Right. I'll go dump it now. Okay. <sighs> Alright, where are we going? Wait. Um, is it this door? Oh, I was talking to me and breaking the fourth wall there. How do we... Oh. Everything looks the same. It's like I totally didn't go down these stairs like five minutes ago. Into the elevator we go. Farewell, curse board. I'll always remember you fondly. Don't worry, the curse board will be waiting for you in your bedroom when you come back. It's kind of cute. Ooh, something happening. I really need to prepare my confession. Gah, why am I so nervous? Giving me all the signs, so he clearly wants a relationship too, right? But what if I'm wrong? Maybe I've just been interpreting things wrong this whole time. What if he doesn't even think of this evening as a date? And there's also that he's gay. What if I'm not man enough for him? Hmm. That's sad. He rejected me for that reason. I... Okay, Aiden, stop. Can't have this conversation all by myself. It's not fair to Dan. Oh, the worries of being trans and trying to date somebody who is cis and worrying if they'll reject you because you're trans. It's the best. If worst comes to worst, better a broken heart now than later. Sure. Oh, what do we got here? My head is killing me. I called a Ouija headache. Hmm. I hate when the filter changes on my vision. Alright. What do we got here? No? No doors. Interesting. It's very quiet. I don't like it. We're playing a horror game. So. I should turn off. Ooh. If I turn off the lights, I mean I still have four lights on in this room. I'm back. Dan? Did he not hear me? 
Oh no, don't tell me Dan's dead. Dumb. Where are you? This is your way of getting back at me, it's not funny. I will call an ambulance if you don't answer me soon. Hmm. That escalated quickly. Dan? The dreadful kitchen ghost. Huh. The sky is red. What's happening with the sky? Calm down, this is a natural phenomenon. There has to be a scientific explanation for this. Well, Dan's not here to explain the science, so what are you going to do about that? That's right. This is a once-in-a-lifetime cool thing I get to witness that just happens to have terrible timing. Such an optimist. This has nothing to do with Dan going missing or the creepy board, so stop freaking out, Aiden. Sometimes it randomly skips dialogue, or maybe that's me. It's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. I wouldn't have been able to tell that that was coming from the bathroom. Oh, there's somebody behind the shower curtain. My biggest fear that there's somebody behind the shower curtain, so I always have to draw it. Creepy. Did I just imagine? Ah, his phone. So where is your owner? Hmm. Alright, this is kind of creepy, actually. Alright, that looks like nothing. What do we got here? Oh, I'm so surprised the Ouija board is back. No, I threw you away. Ha. Huh. Okay, fine. I was really scared for a moment. You can come out now. Let me just cuddle with my stuffed cat and all the terror will go away. I mean, what else should I do other than play with the Ouija board again? That seems logical. Totally play with a Ouija board that just showed up in my house. Hi, Splex. Glad you could join. Clock Tower vibes. Clock Tower is a game that I own that I have not played much. That I want to uh, try out again. But it does kind of have that 2D horror vibe. And they give you a run button, which means I'm probably going to have to run from a monster at some point. Not superstitious. I know there's a logical explanation behind all this, so fuck. What? I'm not even touching the planchette. Who are you? What's going on? Dan? Hmm. Dies. Tonight. In. One. Minute. Oh, that's not stressful at all. The fuck? That's a sick joke. Where is Dan, you sick asshole? Homophobic ghost. Oh, it's letting me save again. <laughs> That's not ominous. Oh, I actually do have a minute. If I was Dan, where would I be? Can I run? I can run. Dan in the fridge? Nope. Where are you, Dan? Where are you, Dan? You under my bed? Dan? Okay, well, I'm not doing too good here. Um. Oh, we got a minute. Well, less than a minute. Oh no, Dan! 
Oh. I can't go back. Wait a second. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Okay, well, hopefully Dan's not dead. You in the washing machine? You in the pantry? You in the shower? You in the sink? Not in the toilet. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You in the oven? Nope. Okay. Are you outside? You're not in the fridge. Okay, I guess you gotta be somewhere in Layla's room? Missing something here? Hmm. The toaster. I didn't check the toaster. What am I missing here? What have I not interacted with? Yeah, I can't do anything with that, obviously. Where did you hide him? You monster! Is there like some very specific thing I have to... Well, let's go outside again. Is this Dan? Okay. Okay, let's... No. 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 Hey, there's more doors than normal here. Oh. Cute. Oh my. That's casual. Alright, what's the next one? Oh. Oh. It's gone. Never-ending stairs. Okay, it really is never-ending. Huh. We make it out. Ooh. I hope Dan's not in there. Okay. Ooh, the spoopening. Yes, Neon Thought. Thanks for joining. And yeah, Paige, this, this, this is weird. I don't know what's happening. Oh. Great. Um, was I able to do something different? Oh. I guess I was, because it looks like the game just exited. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Um. Alright. Apparently it completely exits the game. Alright. Let's go... Down to the dumpster. Oh. You have to go into the stairwell a second time. Why didn't I think of that? Go faster, Aiden, damn it. Can I really do this in a minute? Gotta do the stairs again, and again, and again, 
Okay, elevator, right? Alright, here we go. Don't mess it up. Okay. Nailed it. Come on, Dan. Better be alive. Yay! So he's still in a pool of liquid. It's just not his own blood this time. Ah, Dan, you stupid idiot! Thank God. Ugh. Well. Oh, he blocked the door. Smart. Now you know why you got such cheap rent on this place. Spirit hunting us down because I offended it. What a joke. Yeah, good. Insult the ghost more. Do you have any idea how many people I've been harassed by? A lot. And do I hunt them for it? No, because I'm an actual grown-up who can talk things out. Willing to apologize and learn from this if you'll just let me. Please? Yeah, thought so. Lissai. Hmm. Hmm? Dan! Aiden? Why am I drenched? Whoa, what happened? He went dumpster diving. <laughs> Are you for real? I know it sounds made up, but I'm telling the truth. Please, you have to believe me. Aiden, calm down. I never said that I don't believe you. You do, of course. Remember how you once told me that you never cry in front of anyone. That's why I want to believe you. I'm sorry, Dan. This is all my fault. Well, I was the one who sort of believed in it, so I should have tried harder to stop you. Also, did you say you did save me, correct? So let's not play the blame game and instead figure out how to get out of this mess. We can still talk about lessons learned after our lives aren't in danger. Speaking of getting out of this, where is that troublesome board anyway? It was gone by the time I got back. Wonderful. So y'all, don't split up this time. You yelled at the people in the fake movie, so don't split up this time. Let's go find it. <laughs> Have you ever paid attention to any of the horror movies you've watched? Spirit and the board aren't one and the same. Burning it will merely destroy the spirit's means of communication. Potentially. Yeah, but clearly fiction is what we should be comparing our situation to. I love when people say that when they're inside of a fictional horror movie. Or game. Do you have anything else to compare it to then? I guess not. What's your plan of action? Hey, I never said it was his own blood. You're right, Emma. And hi, Savannah. Hi, Unique Sexy. Hope everyone's doing good. Hope you're enjoying this strange game. Are we brought to another world or another dimension? This music got intense. Maybe we're not actually seeing what we think we're seeing. Well, you're most definitely drained. Drained, or is that supposed to be drenched? I would also suggest we assume that this is some sort of alternate ghost dimension. This dimension seems to be very similar to ours, at least your room looks the same. Mostly does, but stuff randomly changes appearance or suddenly leads somewhere it didn't before. In that case, I suggest we head to Layla's room. Ah, how convenient to have a roommate who has a whole book full Room full of books that can handle a spiritual invasion. Something in there has to be of use. Who knows, but it's the best lead we have. I'm also scared, but it'll be alright because you'll protect me and I'll protect you. That's right. I already saved your life, Dan. I mean, let's ignore the fact that I did not save your life the first time. Going to move your furniture aside. Are you ready? No. I will go ahead and talk to the teddy bear and save. All right, now let's go. I'm ready for you to move the furniture, big strong man. Good, let's do this. 
Looks like this room is safe for now. Let's just hope that applies to the rest of the apartment. If it even is your apartment anymore. Huh. How did I guess? What in the world? Where are we? I've been here before, I think. Yeah, huh. When I was running to save you, I ended up here for a bit. I see, so this is what you meant when you said the doors can lead somewhere else. Couldn't have made things easy for us once, could they? Well, maybe I shouldn't have picked a Ouija board out of the trash, even though I told you to do so. But don't worry, Dan. I brought you into this mix, and I'll make sh damn sure you get out of it. That's the spirit. <laughs> what a pun. Okay, guess, guess that's not an option. It's locked. What about this? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Just gonna assume that every door is off limits. Alright. Lock. Okay. Well, we're out of stuff. Game over. That's where I came out of. Can I just go back in? No, of course it goes right back to the bedroom. Nope. How about this door? Oh, that door is lit up. So does that mean that's a door I can go through? It does. What is this? Didn't expect to find such a large bookshelf in here. What kind of knowledge these otherworldly books? Oh, this one's completely blank, and so is this one. Gave it up, but they're all blank. Just one more. Ah! What's it say? Nothing. It's also blank. But there is a key stuck between the pages. Interesting. What are the chances that you'd find the key amongst all those books? Okay, what do we got here? Oh, interesting. Should we check the dumpster again? Nope, I guess not. The door looks like it could be open, but it's rusted shut. Oh, this is fun. Definitely didn't enter from here. Actually, have we ever been here? Nope. But I told you the doors can randomly lean somewhere else. You don't say. That'll be quite confusing. Oh, is this a safe? Any idea what it could be? No clue. Oh. This is wonderful. So where does this key go? I'm gonna try the door at the end of the hall. Very peaceful music with a strange grumbling in the background. some doors again. Oh. Okay, guess I'm pressing the shift key too much. Let's try you. Oh, hello. Curious, did it react to the key, perhaps? Sure, it'd be convenient if all the doors do that. Oh, this looks normal. Are we really touching this? Seriously? covered in these meat lumps. Hmm. They look gross, but meat lump never came to mind to describe them. They could be dangerous. Hmm. A little trigger happy. Oh, there's a lighter inside. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, Mom. Uh, huh. Oh, what the? The who are you? That would be our line. Well, I asked you first. Of course, where are our manners? My name is Dan, and this is Aiden. I'm Linda. Nice to meet you. Um, Dan, could I have a minute? You're suspicious of the meat chunks, but not this random lady. What are you talking about? There's complete, they're completely different. She's a living, breathing person. But do you know that, Dan? And how did she end up here? It's weird. Uh, 
I'm sure there's a good reason she's here. Let's stop jumping to conclusions. Like her outfit, very pink. Talking behind my back right after we met is quite rude, you know. I'm sorry, this place just has us on edge. So how'd you end up here, huh? Huh? How should I know? I was just walking home when I tried to get in my apartment, and then I ended up here. Do you live in this apartment? Uh, yeah, but normally it's less meaty. Most apartments usually are less meaty than this. I see. Maybe the entire apartment complex has been cursed then. And now it's dragging innocent people in. That'd be bad. Um, hello? What's this curse you guys are on about? I'm sorry, Linda. We may be the reason you were brought here. So I'm stuck here because of some stupid spirit board. Correct. My apologies. Sounds like Aiden should be the one apologizing to me. Sorry. Whatever. You guys better t take responsibility and bring me back home. Don't worry. We'll figure this all out together. Aw, oh, Danny boy, you sure know how to treat a lady unlike a certain someone. What? <laughs> okay. Heard that, Aiden? I did a good job. Good for you. What is going on here? Okay. Okay, where's the next? Let's try this door. First try. Let's check the meat shower. Ew, Aiden, it wasn't me. Pretty sure that's coming. <laughs> Can we stop saying, like, meat junk? But why? The other ones don't smell nearly this bad. A chemical reaction with something underneath the meat. That being said, don't breathe it in so much. Aiden, be a good boy and see what's underneath the chunks. <laughs> Your idea. Um, we do have a lighter. Okay. Can I use the little plunger? Alright, um... <laughs> I'm experienced when it comes to opening closets. Huh. Huh, huh. Lots of towels. They're all soaked though, I don't think they'll be useful. What about this bottle? Is that rust remover? How convenient! Just what we needed. Whatever. I was about to see that too. What's that? Can't hear sword losers. It's like they're best friends already. Probably can't open this door. Yeah, okay. So how do we get back outside? Is it this? Yep. Yeah. Rusted shut. Just like busted open. The rust remover, I would suggest. Yeah. Judging by all of the meat chunks, we're still inside that other world. How fun. True, it seems like there's only a dead end up ahead. Dead end, is that a pun? Haha. Uh -huh. What is this place? It's romantic. Couldn't agree less. I mean... Horror, horror settings can be romantic if you're just watching them or playing them and not actually in them. But maybe I'm weird. Why are these missing posters? They date back five years ago. wonder if they found them by now. Hmm. I don't want to think about sad stuff right now. Stop killing the mood. Can we look closer? No. Oh, interesting. A newspaper box. Funny something like this exists here. Too bad I don't have two quarters. I think there's more important things to worry about than creepy world newspaper. Hmm. Okay. Is that all? Is this a different area, or is this the same area? Okay. 
can't go through there. Check the bookshelf again. Completely blank. I need to clean out the meat tub. Which is probably the nastiest way I could have described that. Welcome to my bedroom, woman I just met. Um. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Casual. Lies, lies, lies. Who is lying? Okay, okay. Everything keeps... Oh, it looks like I may be back in my... Damn it! Okay, let's see if I can get back there and try a different door. Do I gotta run around in circles three times and that allows me to get back up there? Alright, well, that didn't work. Don't worry, I'll figure this out sometime. Fuck the bookshelf. Ah, that's how we do it. Okay. And do, do, do. Okay. So let's go to. I guess we're not going to roommate's room. Alright. So I'm gonna get lost probably. Door doesn't even budge. Alright, that makes my job easier. No, we're not going. Really? I had to step around that? And then the damn door is locked. Uh, this is exhausting. Okay, where the hell am I now? Oh, back in. Can I open this door? Okay, door doesn't even budge. This is great. Okay, guess we're going back in here. What am I missing, y'all? So I need quarters. I need a scoop for the meat tub. I have a lighter. Do I need the ritualistic candle? Hmm. At least the music's calming. Oh, I guess items. Rust remover, key, dance phone. Okay, does that mean anything? <laughs> oh, I guess. Let's see, can't go into any of those. Can I just burn this? Burn it! Alright. Figure this out eventually. So there's a locked door there. Hmm. Does anyone else feel like we're just going in circles? Where to? All right. Interact with this one. Hmm. Well, 
What am I supposed to do? There's probably like one room that I've missed. Oh, so we're back in here again. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Door doesn't even budge. Can you two do something and help me? Ugh. No, there's nothing down here but a locked door. Man, I figure if I just keep doing the same thing 30 times in a row, it'll make a difference, right? So what would I need a lighter for? So apparently I can't use it to burn out the tub. There's nothing in here. Can I like crawl inside of here? And just cry because I can't figure out what to do? Okay. Anything in here? Does the internet have answers? What? What the heck? One, two, three, four. What? Was I supposed to know that that was there? Okay, another puzzle. Items. Clearly there's nothing there. Is that a battery? Of course. Alright, so we need a number, a four digit number. Four digit numbers are usually things like dates. More puzzles in this than I was expecting. Okay. Go just grab one of those wet towels from the closet. Oh, we're here again. Right. To hack us back in time. Maybe you're supposed to run around in circles. I feel like that's what I'm doing. I'm really good at that. Can I do anything with this trash? Like you're just you're just chilling here. Can I set you on fire? Maybe reveal an item? Okay. If I open the doors in a certain combination. Uh, now we get back to... Yeah, can I not go to the roof anymore? Interesting. So the roof was full of lies. Casual. Okay. Where does it budge? Why not? Every freaking door. Can I like ask? Dan and Linda for a hint. I feel like once I find one thing, I'll figure everything will fall into place. Nah. This is me running around in anger. If you run fast enough, you can overcome it. Okay. Hmm. What am I missing here? Can you do anything with the computer? But why is there just like a random code on the corner? Hmm. The newspaper probably has a number that I need. 
Okay, let's try... I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna try to go outside and see if I can interact with any of those missing posters, maybe? Seems like my best bet, cause... Can we open the dumpster? No... You don't wanna look in there again? It's too creepy? Okay. Let's try interacting with... What the heck? That's normal. That was weird. Is that supposed to happen? Fifty cents. Two quarters. Okay, if I talk to every single one of these... Because, yes, that's what you do. You talk to missing posters. Is there a reason why I can climb up the wall there? Alright, well... Probably just a graphical glitch. Alright, so we got 25 cents. Is the passcode 2525? Oh, can you interact with the trash can looking thing in the hallway? Hmm. I don't believe I can, but I will try it again. Stop yelling at me. I just want to use shift. Okay, let's, let's see. Do I gotta stand in a certain position? Ah. Uh... Burn the trash. Burn it. Burn it. Okay. Meat lumps occupied a bathtub. They smell awful. Just stick your damn hand in there. Okay. In some worlds, pictures talk back, so not too far away. Okay. Assume that's in reverence to me trying to talk to... Jesus, leave the room. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Let's see. We got 50 cents. Nope. Try... Two quarters. Alright, I'm out of ideas. Um, bear, tell me all the secrets. Okay. Got rest remover. What the hell am I missing? I feel so dumb. No, this is just the locked door again. Yeah. Open. Open. No. Nope. Oh god. What the hell am I missing? <laughs> Is lies a hint to something? Can you put letters in the bookshelf? Or is it only numbers? It's only numbers. Okay. Hmm. 
let's see if we try what is lies if you put it into a phone that would be five four three seven nope that doesn't work either okay 50 50. did i not do that i didn't do that i swear if that's what it is How did I get up there? Why are you just like sitting there mocking me? Like, I do not see anything to interact with. Like, what the hell? Can I use this damn lighter on anything? Like, come on. Alright. Tired of this. I'm gonna cheat and quickly Google. This game probably does not have any walkthrough. Let's see, oh, somebody else played it. And uh, they almost beat it in this time already, so I feel great. Um, let's see. Give me some hints. Give me some hints. You, you all get some nice peaceful music while I stare at my phone. Enjoy. Something tells me that they didn't stop killing the maid. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'll just walk around in random circles. This person did the same thing I did and talked to every single poster. Looks like they struggled too, not just me. Sorry if anybody just joined, this is probably super boring right now, since... I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do in this damn game. Door. 
That door never opens for me. some like stupid detail okay they got up to the roof we're just vibing the meat hallway yeah that's that's what we're doing we're vibing wait wait a second let me try something Is this my bed that's not my bedroom so, let's try one, three, nope, that doesn't work. So it works. So that is a right code, it's just for something different. How do I get back to that safe I found earlier? Okay, this person went into that door, walked in circles, came back. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Hope that's not make any sense. It's like some weird combination. Gotta like go in and out of the rooms and run in circles and do a little dance. Like walk across the red rug three times and go back in. Maybe if I talk to the meat, that takes me somewhere else. What is going on? I don't... <laughs> How? This does not make any sense. How the... How the hell are you supposed to know to do that? It's so obtuse. Go in. Okay. Run in circles, we shall go. What the fuck? How is this? What am I doing wrong here? Sorry, y'all. Probably super boring. Apparently a way to get into this damn s there's a safe that I need to get to. I got the code. It's apparently lies upside down, which is 5317. Um but it's no good if I can't get to the frickin' safe. Super chill, and a lot of us need that right now. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I guess it could be worse. The music could be annoying. Okay. So, 5371. But. I need to get back to that staircase that gives me the safe. But it's not wanting me to go to the staircase. So if we go in and out. Hmm. Hmm. I don't understand. They're doing the same thing I'm doing, but somehow some sort of mystery magic to what they're doing and stop telling me to stop clicking the shift I'm trying to run 
There we go. Let's see. If we do a little magical mystery, we go in and out and in and out and in. This is so stupid. Again, something magical will happen. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this person finds a stupid safe. What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. Let's just try loading it. Alright, because that that's that's gonna make all the difference, I'm I'm convinced. So there's like some Some method, some rhyme or reason to this madness. It's like some stupid sequence of doors you have to go through. Like, whoever made this makes me angry. <laughs> so we talk to the box, go back out, see, like, what, why? Why? That? How does that make sense? Why? Why do you do this to me? Like how? How the hell does that make sense? Like. <laughs> All right. So we got lies. What do we do? What do we do with lies? Shove them up our ass. <sighs> okay. This is so. Hi, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Insanity is going in and out and expecting different results. You are absolutely right, Carmen. Because that's exactly what this game is. Alright, we run around in circles, we talk to a little meat crack, say hello, goodbye. Then we go in here, door doesn't budge, okay, goodbye. Alright, um, you don't budge because I know I need a key for you that I cannot find. Even though I know where it is, and I know the code, I just can't get to the damn safe. Alright, we go in here, we leave, we go in, we leave, and that does not work. What, what the f- Why? Why? Please, tell me. Why? Tell me. Why? So I can only go to the roof once, apparently. And then it's just like, no, you're not allowed to go there ever again. Who? What the fuck? <laughs> this is driving me crazy. Why did you decide it's time to go to the roof again? Like... What the hell? Like, are you trying... <sighs> Maybe next time go to the elevator instead of going to the roof. Hmm. That is a good idea. I know watching this person, they went in and out of this room and they- What the fuck? Please explain to me. Like, this shit is random, but I feel like it's not that random. <laughs> okay, 
so how did they do that? Get into the stairs. Let's try this again. Uh, no? Okay, so let's try... What? What the literal fuck? Okay, let's um... <laughs> Apologize for my language. Except I'm not that sorry. I'm just... <laughs> we made it! I couldn't tell you how the fuck we did that. But we made it. What the hell? Jesus. Uh, can anybody tell me if there's any rhyme or reason to that? Because I, I... I certainly... My god. My god. Alright, so we need to get back. Where do you go? If I just take the elevator, just go back in the elevator. No. Okay. Ooh. Okay, somehow. Got to where we needed to go. Despite my best efforts, we're making progress. And now we're in a bath. to make sure there's nothing in here, because if I leave, I'd never be able to find my way back here again. Oh. Task failed successfully. <laughs> yes. Yes. Great success. Oh, thank you. You can be just be like, what the hell is happening? I have to take every weak bladder. Can relate. But if you end up somewhere else after leaving the restroom, then I'll find my way back. Oh, great. Do you know what the number one cause of death in these movies is? Getting lost, because it doesn't make sense. Letting up. Jeez, you're paranoid. If Danny- Can you stop calling him Danny Boy? Has to pee. He has to pee. Then pee in the corner. Not in front of a lady. Now is the time for chivalry. Just go to the damn bathroom. There are two types of people in this world. There are the lovely people who look out for each other. <laughs> and then there's you. Wow. Alright, I won't go. I can't leave you two alone, apparently. Oh, no, no, it's fine. All in good fun. Yep, don't worry about us. I still think it's a bad idea. If you have to go, you have to go. I'll hurry. Hey, where are you going? Um... Hmm. Hey, Aiden, you're quite close to Dan, aren't you? Well, yeah. Do you know if he has a girlfriend? Oh, so that's what this is all about. Sorry, but you're not really his type. Because he doesn't swing that way. Or you say he's not interested in women? Yep. Nah, that's a shame. Such a waste of a good... Jesus! What about you? Do you like women? Uh, less every second I have to interact with you. Hmm. Ever touched? Jesus. What is happening here? <laughs> oh, something fell out of the top when I opened it. A key? I love when that happens. Oh, I guess I'm Dan now. Let me guess, gonna be separated. Yup. You just had to go to the bathroom, didn't you, Dan? All right, so run in circles four times, and like magic. The door doesn't budge. Let me go here. This door is locked. No, that one doesn't budge. Okay, I think this door was locked. Maybe I can't open those doors that aren't actual doors. 
think there was a locked door at the end of this hallway, maybe. All right, making some progress. Please open. Okay. Should reunite with the others first. Damn it, Dan. Just go through the damn door. Okay. How the hell do I get back there? Ah! Okay. Um, I think we talked to the bookshelf. Hello. How are you, blank books? And then... I feel like this game is just an exercise in... What the hell? I was gonna say frustration, but what the hell works too. Okay. We're back here. That... Totally makes sense. Like, what? Is there rhyme or reason to this? Okay, so I think this is the way. Okay. There we go. There you are. What took you so long? Where the hell did Aiden go? The door suddenly led somewhere else. Where's Aiden? He took off looking for you. I told him to wait, but he didn't listen. Oh, I made him worry, didn't I? Don't really know what to do. Is it smarter to wait here or to go look for him? I'm tired of this room, so let's go to the place. This place that isn't that big, so I'm sure we'll run into him. Okay, Aiden was about the same when he ran off to look for me. Should we go in here? Okay. Um. Yep. Random spot where I can walk into the wall. All right, let's just try to go. Oh. And not meet bathroom. Use items. What do the other two? This is interesting. Yeah, it's like, so I'm not sure how to use items. I feel like they're used automatically. Gross. Who wants a bowl of meat? Complete with a sink of meat. And a plant. Um. Uh, kitchen, we should take one of the knives. Self-defense, good point. Can we cut up the bathroom meat? Ah! Garbage meat. Window meat. Crack in the wall meat. What about toaster meat? Can we drain the sink? What about the oven? I'm afraid to leave. Okay. Can I go into the bathroom again? Is this the bathroom? Ugh. Okay, so there there seems to be some slight rhyme or reason to the sequence, kind of, maybe. So that's the boiler room, that's the bedroom. This should be the bathroom. Can we cut the meat? Ah, the knife. Thank goodness! What's wrong? I really don't want to go near it. I wish Aiden was here. He'd have no problem dealing with this. We don't need Aiden. Give me the knife. I'll do it. 50 cent coin was stuck inside the lumps. <laughs> Alright. Didn't know a coin would be so stinky. But I know just what to use the coin for. The newspaper. <laughs> newspaper box. And put that coin. How lame can you get? I don't think this box exists just for fun. There has to be a deeper meaning. Now you're playing it like a game, Dan. <sighs> I have a not good feeling about Linda. I do as well. <laughs> like, I almost didn't want to give the knife to her, but I had no choice. Yeah, I'm going to stand around and watch you read a stupid newspaper. I'm having a stroll, but please don't walk off too far. Let's see. Five years ago, around the same time, all these people missing. There should be a mention of it then, huh? Cannibal catfish arrested. It's a casual headline. 
eight different cases of young men going missing, and we lost Linda. Throughout the last semester, police was able to link these missing cases back to one culprit. Linda! Oh, it is Linda. Okay. According to witnesses, her methods included hooking her victims at a club and bringing these unsuspecting men back to her apartment. Currently, the remains of her seven victims are nowhere to be found, and it's still unclear if these cases are linked to Miss Simmons. Meet that determined by an autopsy. That's an interesting way to phrase that. Belongs to 19 year old Gary Hugh. Stored away several Tupperware. Well, okay. Okay. Investigators assume that the catfish cannibal. Okay, that name makes sense now. Fortunately, this will never be confirmed as Linda Simmons has been taken has taken her life in custody before admitting to any of her crimes. Interesting. Family of the seven men are still hoping that their missing sons will one day return, according to investigators. So Linda is the ghost haunting the Ouija board! <laughs> Lovely name, ha ha ha. You're acting strange. I don't know, maybe the fact that you killed eight people. Did that stupid newspaper say something weird? No, not at all. Hey, Danny boy. I don't like liars, you know. That's creepy. Any chance you can talk this out? We're doing so great, but you just have to go and read that newspaper. This is a misunderstanding. What would be your motive? I just hate men. Uh-huh. Huh is right. Shut up. Do I look like I care men are all a plague? Jesus. Okay. I wonder if you're meat. What is happening? Oh. She still has the knife. Yeah. Oh. Maybe don't run into her, Dan. God, why, why, why do you exit the game? Razum. Okay, so I got a got a finagle remover in, around her. Look at those moves. Okay, where am I going? Um, And it exits the game again. So one one design flaw there. Besides the lack of logic in some points. Alright, let's try this again. And here we go. This music is strange. <laughs> ah, get away from me. Okay. So... Bedroom... Maybe... Nope. Oh, get out of here. That's not your bedroom. Nope. Ooh, look at that smile. <laughs> um, go away, please. You- oh. Oh, well, I'm fucked. Okay. These controls. Alright, we're gonna be dying a lot, apparently. So... Go us. By us, I mean me, who's terrible. Stop it! It's like nothing like casual piano music to be chased by a killer! Leave me alone! No! Oh. So I need to go not there. 
talk to the books. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, uh. I just I love how Dan still looks fabulous while running away from Nope. Wrong room. Okay, how do I get back to that area? <laughs> Alright, we're doing good. Doing good, y'all. I predict, uh... I'll only die, like, 30 more times. Okay, starting to get tired of this piano music. Come on, Dan. Run away with your fabulous self. Okay, so I don't need to go to the kitchen. Um... Ah! Are you kidding me? Stupid freaking controls. Can I use my mouse? Because that would make my life so much easier. Let's try. Does the mouse work? It does. How exciting. It's not very precise, though. Maybe. Okay. Let's try that. Alright, fuck that. I almost feel like this peaceful music is mocking me. Uh, okay, so I need to get to... stuck up there. Okay, okay. Did I lose her? Seems like her own world worked against her. Aiden, please be okay. Let's try going in here again. Nothing. Okay, if I were an Aiden, where would I be? doesn't budge. Door doesn't budge. Okay. I haven't gone down here. Or haven't been able to go down here. Locked. Hmm. I still have a lighter. What else have I not interacted with? Shut up, shift key. Stop beeping at me. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, do you, you, you miss, you know, just Linda chasing me with a knife trying to murder me because she's apparently a man-hating serial killer. You know, casual. Yeah, let's leave it again. So I don't have to do that nonsense. What is this? What is this? Because... That code does not work. Okay, okay. Where are you? Okay. Well, I guess I can try going to the roof again. Don't really. Weird. Okay. Guess it doesn't want me to go to the roof. 
hell? Don't understand. <laughs> Kitchen, maybe? No, I don't see. a different load screen. Okay. Aiden! Yeah, thank god. Oh. Okay. Nothing... Nothing says romance. Like being in an alternate dimension full of meat. So, so glad that you're okay. Okay, time out. What's wrong? You need to ask for consent before kissing someone. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was okay since we're going out. The next time I'll ask. We're... We're what now? Oh. Gays are always so bad at that. At least I am. <laughs> since when? Huh, since you asked me out at the first semester party, I thought. I did? I don't remember that at all. Were you really that drunk? You seemed quite sober. Plus, the next day you acted all flirty, so I was sure you meant it. I was acting flirty because you were acting flirty. Yeah, because I thought you liked me and we're a couple now. Is our communication really that bad? Apparently. Oh man, so I was worried for nothing this whole time. I can't believe it. But if you thought we were a couple all this time, why did you never try anything before? Because you've told me you like to take the lead in relationships, and I wanted to let you initiate the first kiss, but when I realized that I almost lost you, I couldn't help myself. Almost lost me? You're the one who's fine splitting up. You didn't run off because of Linda? Partially. Speaking of, where is she anyway? Partially. I mostly left to go. That and to get away from her. She was hitting on me, and that made me uncomfortable. She also said it's a waste of time that you're gay. I don't like her. I really need to catch you up on a few things. You don't say. Hmm. Are you serious? I am afraid so. You were right with your suspicions all along. And a few of you in the chat were right too. You're telling me there's a serial killer on the hunt for us and we're just standing here talking about our feelings? I mean, why not? Feelings are important, too. As a future therapist, I support that. Talking about feelings is important. I think I'll take my life over feelings any day, thank you. You're right, I'm sorry. I guess I just wanted to share a moment. It might be the last chance we ever get. Why are you talking like we're already dead? Maybe you are. You're in an alternate meat dimension, which means you're dead. I'm not scared of freaking Linda, so what if she's a cannibal with a knife? All right. Okay, yes, that is very scary. But we gotta keep, we gotta stop standing around and get a move on. But we're out of leads. Or did you find any more keys? I actually did. Oh, nice, that's good then. One more thing. Let's not split up. <laughs> I will initiate our next kiss, just you wait. Fixing our horrendous communication later. It sure is terrible, ha ha ha. We can't communicate, ha ha. Okay, so, locked door, it's probably that door at the end of the main hallway, but let's just try these. Door doesn't budge. There's this door. Okay, there we go. Ooh, the Ouija board. How convenient, I happen to have a lighter with your name on it. Aiden, wait. Burning it will be completely pointless. I don't care, I'm burning this piece of shit. Hmm. Any votes from the audience? Any votes from the audience? Should we burn the Ouija board? Or should we listen to Dan? I mean, listening to Dan is... Not listening to Dan has, uh, you know, gotten Aiden in trouble. So, hear him out. Hear him out. Okay, we got one vote for hear him out. Any other? Any other? 
burn it. Hear him. Aiden is, I go to the toilet and Aiden is back. Yep. <laughs> Aiden was on the roof. Okay, so we got two for hear him out, one for burn it. Any other votes? Going five. Hear him. Hear him. Okay, I think I... The audience has spoken. There's something that has been bothering me for a while now. Why did the Ouija board warn you? Think about it. The person who brought me to the dumpster must have been Linda. She wanted to kill me. Why warn you about it? Why make things harder on herself? If you go by that logic, why didn't she just kill you on the spot? I'm not sure. Maybe her influence isn't strong enough because we weren't fully in her world yet at the time. So what are you suggesting? It was someone else talking to me through the board? A lot of people died in this apartment, nine to be an exact, not Linda and her eight victims. So if nine people died in this apartment, why should only one of them be able to interact with us? I feel like the moral of the story is listen to Dan. <laughs> but I have to say, I want to say... I mean, we, we could go back and burn it and see what happens. You think one of the victims possessed the board to warn me? It's a possibility. How do we know? Let's talk to the board again. But wasn't Linda talking to you? Well, maybe we should have asked for the name. How would that tell us anything? She could be influencing it. If her influence over this world is really that strong, then why hasn't she found us yet? I don't know, to toy with us? Okay, true. Also a possibility. We'll talk to it after we found a way to deal with Linda, okay? If we're still in this world, that is. But we could learn a valuable way to deal with her <laughs> through it, if my theory is correct. If mine is correct, the board's going to tell us the best way to deal with her is to smother ourselves in gravy. Alright. You insist. Oh, there's a key underneath the board. How convenient. Let's just hope it leads to Layla's room. Alright, so that's probably the door at the end of the main hallway, because I think that's I think that's the only remaining locked door. I like it when you can actually open all the locked doors, because that's not the case in some games. We made it! Yay! Let's barricade the door and never leave. Fuck yeah. Starting to lose hope. So this is Layla's room. Looks so normal. Layla literally stores real animal skulls on her shelves, but yeah, I'll take that over meat lumps any day. I wonder why her room didn't change. Yours too, now that I think about it. Hmm. Maybe because those are the only rooms in the apartment that look different from when Linda lived there. Interesting. Doesn't that mean I've been storing my food in the same fridge a cannibal used to store her victims? They must have replaced it during the investigations. Probably. Yeah, I'll just tell myself that. Time to move. Alright, what, what do we got? Books, books, books. Completely forgot how giant... Are the spines all blank? Going through this is gonna take... <laughs> if university has taught me one thing, it's how to quickly skim through text. Very true. Very true. Question mark. Scribble. This is taking forever. Have some patience. I know. What if all this is a trap? If we start assuming everything is a setup, then we might as well lay down on the floor and wait till Linda eats us. Hmm. I like how Dan, who's supposedly the scaredy cat at the beginning, is now, you know, seems much calmer than Aiden. You're the one told me not to give up hope, so please don't give up. Where's my mic? <laughs> Alright, that probably sounded horrible, so I apologize. And, uh, spilled a glass of water. How delightful. Get that later. Make sure that doesn't get all over. 
I'll be right back. Okay. Well, that was an adventure. Now we're back. All right. Getting here has just been so smoothly. If this is Linda's world, then why do we keep putting keys everywhere? I told you before, I don't think this is Linda's world. I think she's as much a part of it as the other victims. She seems to be a stronger ghost since she can actually manifest herself, but that doesn't mean the other ones are powerless. So maybe they're the ones who've been helping us. Fact is, Linda hasn't gotten us yet, so might as well believe in it. Hopefully my mic's still working. I think. Looks like it. Okay. Wait, Dan, that's it! We're also victims in a way. Doesn't mean we should have some influence over this world. I don't know if I like this music change. It's probably why Layla's room and your room are unchanged. Yeah, that must be why. In that case, we should be able to find the book we need easily. With the power of love. Okay. Oh, just kidding. Good. But maybe we just need to focus on the book we need and then we'll pull it out. Surely at this point I'm willing to try anything. So focus, focus, focus. Maybe we establish where we are first. What kind of place is this? Mm -hmm. Parallel world, the afterlife, alternate ghost dimension, place inside a dream or an optical illusion. What do we think? What do we think? I mean, Aiden did mention at the beginning how he hates twist endings where it's all a dream. They also talked about it being a ghost dimension. Kind of leaning towards an alternate ghost dimension or a parallel world. Does it really matter? Any votes before I make a decision? Now for the audience participation portion. What's more powerful? Love? Or a cannibal with a knife. Yeah. Love doesn't do great. So I gotta vote for the afterlife. Any other thoughts? Any other thoughts? I mean, maybe it's a trick question. It's all five. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Everybody's giving me different votes. So we got one for the afterlife, one for a parallel world, one for an alternate ghost dimension. Do we have any uh, tiebreakers for the votes? Alternate ghost dimension, so we got two for that. All right, that's what we're going with. We've been thinking of this as an alternate ghost dimension. Doesn't it still apply? That seems the most plausible for now, yes? Would he have said that for anything? Then what is the threat we're trying to take care of? The threat. Probably this entire place, but I feel like Linda as well. We don't believe the Ouija board. Well, we did talk about wanting to take care of Linda. Uh... Yeah. I mean, this whole place is kind of a threat, because you're not in your normal world. 
You can never get back. That would be kind of a threat. That is limited time in this world. The spirit inhabitant. A virus. I don't think she's a trapped victim. The host. I mean, I want to say she's a virus. <laughs> can live in the world, but not with Linda, I think. Hmm. Anybody else think that Linda's a virus? I'm mostly just non-committal. Alright. Unanimous. But do we really have enough evidence? Can't expect to find evidence for everything. And lastly, what do we want to accomplish? Forced to cross the river. That one doesn't seem right. Do we want to banish Linda? I'm gonna go with banish. Is there a difference between banish and destroy? Banish just sounds more fun. Sounds like something you do to a ghost. As long as all this shit is as far away from me as possible, I do not care where it goes. I'd say we go for banishing. Where do you banish them to, though? <laughs> another, another dimension. All right, I'll pull out a book then. That makes sense. No good. I'm afraid so. Might have come to the wrong conclusions. Well, here we go again. What kind of place is this? How do we know which part was wrong? So I'm gonna go with alternate ghost dimension again. Uh, Linda. So we didn't have a... Pr this might be the part, because Dan was like, we don't have proof. Go with a spirit inhabitant. Assumption's correct. She shouldn't possess any more control over this world than anyone else. And lastly, what do we want to accomplish? destroy. I guess that's true. Boo! <laughs> oh, they're giving up. Oh. I guess that's one way for that to end. Alright. I feel like I have not saved it in a while, and I, I regret that decision. Oh boy. Oh boy, I have to get back to the roof, right? <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. Okay. Alright. Dang. Yeah. There's a lot of different choices you can make in that puzzle. Alright. Skip, skip, skip. We saw, we saw. Gotta do long kiss. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Everything's good. We're in love, but we cannot communicate our way out of a box. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez, for being bad communicators, they sure do talk a lot. Feelings are important. Yay! Okay, now let's banish. So... Okay, okay, okay. So, we got a key. That's right, that's right. I think it was... This door... Yep. Then we get the Ouija board. Which, for now, we're gonna keep this again. Okay, well, we'll hear you out again. Moral of the game, feelings are important. I agree. Sorry for anybody that uh, just joined. We're skipping through all the dialogue, but blah, blah, blah. Keeping the spirit board. 
because it might allow us to talk to other ghosts that are victims that are trying to help us. That's why Dan's still with us. All that fun stuff. Okay. So we got the final key. But this time, I will save it. Because apparently you could save it. Are you supposed to be able to save it there? Okay. Didn't need to save it twice, but I guess just in case. Double the saves, double the fun. Alright. So I think we almost had it. I feel like the last piece was wrong. I'm just going off of Dan thinking that I picked the right things. He's the scientist here. My engineering degree does not help me with spiritual matters. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Alright, here we go. Question marks, squiggles. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. So much talking. So much talking. We're also victims. We can influence the world. Power of love. Maybe we just need to focus. Okay. Nice. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to click that. Okay. Yeah, I fucked that one up. We might die again. What is involvement? Spirit. Um, let's try seal. Very heroic. I just want to go home. No good. I'm afraid so. Okay, we're gonna die. So it's all trying to go at the mansion. That seems most plausible. Linda seems to be the threat. Thank you, Dan, for validating all my answers. Barrett Inhabitant. Let's try Banish again. Oh, here we go. Goodbye, Dan and Aiden. Great. Sorry, y'all. I feel like I'm really bad at this. Alright, trust in the Dan. I agree. I agree. Over the river it is. I guess. What does that mean? <laughs> it just seems so, like, random that it's like, that couldn't be the right response, could it? I mean, I'm just making the assumption that Dan validating me means I made the correct choice because, you know, I'm not confident in my own answers. I need Dan to tell me what I'm doing. Okay, spines, go through. Okay, we'll slow down once we get to the power of love. It's sometime shortly after that. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And that's it. Of course. How? Power of love. Okay, I'll slow down now. Just kidding, but maybe we have to focus and then pull it out. Sure, at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Uh, maybe we should establish where we are. What kind of place is this? Alternate ghost dimension. Seems plausible. Red is Linda. Unless Dan's wrong and we're just fucked. And lastly. What do we want to accomplish? So, Banish doesn't seem to be right. Destroy didn't seem to be right. Seal didn't... Let's just try this one. You're sending... Linda to Grandma. Could you, uh, like, phrase that in a less obtuse way? I mean, I, I got what, uh, Splex is saying with, uh, 
the reverse decks, but it's kind of random. Aiden, this is it. What does it say? The spell is for passing on a vengeful soul to the afterlife. It can only be used if the ghost has been brought to you, has brought you to another dimension and it happens prior. How convenient! So how does it work? We just have to read some words at Linda? Won't be quite that simple. We need salt to temporarily keep her in place and an object reminding the spirit of its past, whatever that entails. Any of the apartment... Anything the apartment came with should have been hers. It's a little more handy. It's a teddy. Oh, the creepy teddy. I mean, yeah, it was behind the bookshelf, so I thought the former tenants might have forgotten it on accident. A little child showed up in tears asking for its teddy, and it's like, Oh, that stinky thing threw it away. Sorry, kiddo. So the teddy bear is Linda's. Pretty innocent thing to own for a serial killer. We collect teddy and some salt, and then we need a big open space to draw the salt circle. The roof should work. Yay, they're telling me all the places I need to go. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have to maneuver. Oh. What the hell is that? It seems she is a virus. Oh good, we get to save. Wow, you can save a lot of... Ah! Oh, her face is normal again. Oh. Okay, so we need to go... That's the kitchen, right? I assume... Pick the salt. Oh. Ooh. Look at those smooth moves. We get the bear. Ah, the controls are so imprecise. So close. We're almost there. Maybe. I forgot that she was right there in the room. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Aiden. Power of queer love. We'll keep you safe. Okay, let's get the salt. And haha, you can't get me. For some reason. You can save there. Ah! Okay, so to the roof. Okay, good. Nope. I hate you. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's maybe just my subconscious telling me to give up. Why am I so bad at this? Thanks y'all for sticking with me. <laughs> In today's episode of the Chloe Connection, Chloe sucks at video games. Oh yeah! Almost fucked that up. Come on, Aiden. Do it. Use your... Use your magical... Magical powers. Ah. Stop it! Okay, I'm gonna save again. Okay, so let's see. Normally you get to roof. Usually use that door. Yes! Ah, get away! Why? What? Why? What are you doing? 
Jesus, go to the roof. Hold the door down while I draw the circle. On it. Ugh. She is strong. Almost got it. Oh wow, that was a, a very nice circle. That face. So pretty. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. Oh, spirit of this other world, once bound to our own, you were once born into our world as child of the light, but have since deterred from your way. Remember your home, remember the light. Yada yada yada. Aiden. And the bear. Remember who you are, step into the light. Linda Simmons. Yay! Plot twist, we freed her soul, and now she's gonna run rampant on Earth. She gone? Seems like it. We did it. Yeah! So, how do we leave? But we're still here. Time to put your theory into test. Which... Okay, the wage board. The spirit that talked to me before there. Please, we need your help. Yes. Are you one of Linda's victims? Yes. I see. I'm sorry for everything that happened. Thank you for helping us. Think you can help us once more? Yes, again. Now we can get back. And... Shun. In session, do you mean the original session we started? See? You're yeah, supposed to say goodbye. That's what I said at the beginning. They don't know how to properly close a Ouija ritual. Just broke the salt ring. We're dead. Still don't understand why that is a safe spot. <laughs> I feel like that might be a glitch. Is there currently a spirit with us? Yes. Please tell us your name. She. Gary. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for helping us, Gary. Farewell, Gary. May your soul find peace. Goodbye. Hold him. Linda talking is just what voice dysphoria looks like. Yeah, I could believe that. Aiden, the board's gone. And the sky. Inside of our windowless room is back to normal. Look at that. Leave the bedroom. We get back into the hallway. Too early to tell. The kitchen. Ah. Oh, I forgot I left birds in the kitchen. Ah. It's normal. This guy is normal. It's back to normal. Ah. Don't you fucking dare laugh at me right now. Aiden, what? Oh, I love you. That's so soon. Oh, that was cute. We won. Everyone survived. Oh, is there more? Oh, are they moving in together? This is really happening. Never thought you'd ask to move in together right after asking me out. Wow. They're moving quick. <laughs> They're everything. But what happened to, uh... 
What was her? What was his roommate's name? I can't. I don't remember. It also started with an L. It's like Lydia. Didn't we both agree for the sake of our mental health that we just had a shared nightmare? <laughs> Not taking any chances. And hey, if anything, it serves as a good excuse to live with my boyfriend. Just hope this apartment isn't haunted as well. Sequel. Don't jinx it. Nah, did someone turn superstitious? You say that as if we won't help me spray salt around the apartment later. Fair point, Dan. Hmm. Aw, cute. They're good at surprise kissing each other. Ooh, we got the true end. So that means I guess there's a false end. I wonder if that happens if you burn the Ouija board. Yay! We did it! <laughs> That's a little fast. Yeah. Let me see if I can find the save and uh, we burn burn the Ouija board just to see what happens if we do that. Um, I think it was this one. Yeah. Let's burn the Ouija board. See what happens. If anybody wants to stick around for that. Just because, you know, a couple people were curious, myself included. You know, we gotta, gotta introduce a little bit of chaos into our lives. Ah, oh, damn it, we have to listen to them talk again. Can you just, uh... Okay, it's kiss. Maybe one day they'll have a kiss that they're both prepared for. That, that's, that's the real plot twist. That they burn the Ouija board, they can't say goodbye, so does that mean they'd be stuck here forever? That would really suck. Okay. There we go. Oh, what? Damn it. Hey, where did, where did Aiden go? I wasn't supposed to do that. Messed up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait. What the hell? What happened? Did the game glitch? What? What happened? <laughs> Oh no, Aiden didn't follow me. We lost. Okay, let's go back to the roof. What the heck? <laughs> okay, that's a glitch. <laughs> Stuck in an endless time loop. <laughs> Linda's glitch infected the roof. Yes. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good that the glitch didn't break the game as far as we can tell. One more thing. I will initiate your next kiss. Just wait. Okay, you following me this time? Wait. Now I'm controlling Aiden. Weird. Alright. I guess they just really don't want me to get to that Ouija board. Alright, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna burn it. Aiden, wait, burning it would be pointless. Burn it! Seems like it didn't burn us back home. I told you it was pointless. It's a lot better now, so I wouldn't say it's completely pointless. Oh. So it looks like we're gonna have to 
go through all the same stuff again. And then we're gonna have a bad ending. Let me save it real quick again. So any guesses? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Are we gonna live together for all eternity in Meat World? Lovers in Meat World, yep. <laughs> sounds like an absolute nightmare. But yeah, starting to lose up. Okay. Remember, crossing the river. That is the answer. Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, books, books, books are empty except when you use the power of love and intention. Mm -hmm. Oh. We found the book already. That's weird. Was that supposed to happen? Hmm. Strange. Okay, guess I didn't have to answer all the riddles. So I can just, uh... Yep, yep, she's still glitched. Yeah. Kitchen, get me some salt. Ah. Oh, crap. All right. So, um, here we're on a cycle of dying again. Super great. Okay, is this... Okay, good. There we go. Oh yeah, smooth moves. Now let's talk to the radiator, whatever, because that's how you save. Pick it up, hit that. God, she moves like a frickin' glitch. Glad I saved it. Yeah, the bear. Ah! Jesus. So creepy, yes. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens. Is it the same? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, spirit of another world. Born into our world, you go to the light. Remember, step into the light. We're still here. Seems like it. Ah, oh, great. Well, it's 
So is that it? Oh, it didn't matter how long we searched, there was no way back. Somewhere along the way we screwed up. No, I was the one who screwed up. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. Dan, never blame me. There's no point after all. Each other's company is all that we have left. Lately, Dan's eyes have changed. They lost their shine. Wow. I'm turning weird too, but that's alright. I've turned... <laughs> Jesus! That's dark! <laughs> alright, so you either have... You know, move in together, cute love, or you go insane, trapped in meat world. There's no in between. Okay. Well. That is, um... That's something. Welcome back. Welcome back. Everything alright? No, I threw up again. Is it my cooking? I'm sorry. No, I love your cooking. Actually, can you cook me something now? You're hungry again. We ate just earlier and you threw it up. That's a given. After all, I have to eat for two now. What? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Aiden got pregnant in Meat World. They're gonna have a meat baby. Well. So, let me adjust my camera, and now I'm big. Hello. So, that is the story to Super Meat Boy. Yeah. I had that thought, too. Like, this is, this is the origin story. That's where Super Meat Boy comes from. So, I hope everyone enjoyed. Um... That actually went on a little longer than I had expected. But we beat it. Yay, we got both endings. So, lesson of the day. If you have a friend named Dan, make sure you listen to him. Trust your feelings. Learn to communicate. And if you play with the Ouija board, don't set it on fire before you say goodbye. What babies aren't meat? That's true. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, Hustle Fudge. I hope you'll be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> Hope everybody can sleep after that weird game. Well, hope everyone enjoyed that. I am planning on hopefully making this more regular, doing some, I found like a list of other trans and queer games or characters and stuff like that that we can play through together. And I think this is the only one I've found that is most overtly horror. So good news for people who don't like horror. The next one's... Maybe it won't be happier, but they won't be as scary. So that should be fun. Um, all right. Any final thoughts before we part for the evening? I'm actually a vegetable baby. Shake my head. Only a Danny, and he is a big transphobe, so maybe I should not listen. Yeah, yeah, don't listen to any Dannys that are transphobes, because... They're, they're, they're not, uh, they're not the real Dan. They're not the real Dan. Yeah. Still thought the whole plot twist of, a you know, little pink bubblegum princess is a serial killer, and her face turns into a giant eyeball with meat tentacles coming out of it. Casual. Yeah. Maybe there'll be a sequel where their new house gets haunted by Super Meat Girl instead of Super Meat Boy. Super crazy. All right, y'all. Nice hanging out too, Marina. Glad you can all join. My hair is a mess. It's getting a little crazy in the back. This happens when I knock over my mic because it gets possessed by Linda. But if y'all have any, uh, hi, uh, Lahora de Creepy? Really feels like Clock Tower. Be free. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to, have to check out Clock Tower at some point. I own the first three, or I think there are only three. I'll have to check them out and actually play them, considering all the money that I spent on them. That's a whole nother subject. But 
Good night for now, y'all. If you have any suggestions for other games, I have a list going of various like indie trans and queer games and hope to see y'all again soon in the future and we can play through something that's maybe a little less creepy, maybe a little less weird, maybe a little less frustrating. It worked well once figured out the nonsense of enter this room and go out three times and you end up in an elevator. Puzzle solved. Hooray. All right. Bye, y'all. Love you all. Mwah. Tipsy loves you too, wherever she is. She uh, got scared away from the Ouija board that I left with her. Maybe she went to Super Meat World. I have to go rescue her. Good night, everyone. <laughs>